Magicians begin with that's impossible. And so impossible doesn't frighten us. It's not a word that scares us. It's a word that as magicians we gravitate toward because we know how to create the impossible or the seemingly impossible. Magic is a stretch. It stretches our idea of what's possible. You know, in another way of putting it, magic says to every one of us, get bigger dreams. Our dreams are too small. The god Shiva appears and dances the Tendava dance, a weird and terrible dance of fire in which the entire material universe is destroyed. I was just a, a mainstream magician who was just kind of uh, on the left edge of it all. He had stories about spirits and witches and I was more willing to take some theatrical chances. Here's someone who's talking intelligently about not only magic, but about how to perform magic in ways that intelligent people could connect with. It was a way for the tribal leaders or the medicine people to try and uh, elicit a sense of personal connection to the earth, personal connection to the world around them on some level that they can understand. It's not necessarily the case that the audience of the shaman uh, believes that uh, something, a miracle has happened. Probably know it's a trick. My knowledge that tricks can be done protects me from um, having a religious experience of believing that people have power that I don't have. In your life, you are the magician. You are the source of power. You are the source of transformation. And if you want, you can give it all away or you can accept it. Maybe there's something in us as human beings. Uh, maybe the human heart cries out for magic. We can certainly function without mystery, but is a life without mystery a life worth living? <laughs>